the whole thing wobbing. Madden 24 comes out later today at 8 p.m. Eastern Time for those of you guys that have the Deluxe Edition of Madden 24 pre-ordered. Also, if you have EA Play, I think it'll likely release around that same time. But since the game's going to be dropping later today, I wanted to go over the best free cards for you guys to pick between the Team Captains, which is still unknown as of the very second I'm making this video, if you just get all four or not, the AKA players, and also the Mutt Hall of Fame players. Now, I don't give a shout out to JC Gaming for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. Turn on notifications on and comment down below. Noti Gang. Also, if you guys head down to the comment section, you will find a link to this giveaway that I'm currently running over on Twitter right now for $1,000 of Underdog Fantasy funds. All you guys have to do is retweet the tweet, follow myself at Underdog Fantasy, and comment underneath the tweet your guys' username on Underdog Fantasy. You guys can use code Zerk to match first deposit up to $100 and follow me over on Twitter for my NFL picks. We have a lot of stuff going on with NFL preseason. We have the NFL season coming up very, very soon. And of course, we have NFL season long picks, NBA season long picks, private drafts. There's a whole lot to check out. And I'm drawing the winners of this giveaway on September 10th in the morning, right before Sunday kickoff, 10 winners of $100 in funds. Now, before I actually go over all of the players, whatever here, and then the options, I do want to let you guys know this. Number one, will we get our pre-order bonus stuff today, right? Will we get it at 8 p.m.? I don't 100% know. Now, in years past, we have had to wait for the standard edition release, but also last year, we got it with the deluxe edition. So I still don't know as the very second whether we're going to get all of our pre-order stuff, the rookie premieres, everything like that with deluxe edition drop. I don't know. I'm hoping that we will, though. So hopefully that is the case. But also, I do want to bring this up to you before you choose your player, okay? Before you choose any BND player, the number one thing I recommend you guys do is if you're going to buy packs, buy the packs first. The last thing you want to do is go in here and pick a, you know, offensive lineman, whatever, as one of your free players. And then you go ahead, you open up a bundle after that. And then when you open up the bundle, you pull that same position because then, you know, you're pretty much going to think to yourself, all right, what do I do now? Do I just disregard the player that I just chose as BND or am I forced to sell off this card now? Don't do that. Open the bundles first, that way you know what cards you have available to you, and then you can go pick your free players and sell off whatever cards you don't want. Now let's get into it. So starting off, let's take a look here at the Hall of Fame players. For those of you guys that have pre-ordered the Deluxe Edition, you are going to get your choice of one of these players here, including Joe Thomas right there. We also have Demarcus Ware as an option. Rondé Barber, uh, which we'll talk about him in a second here. Zach Thomas, Joe Klecko. Uh, there is also Chuck Howley as well and Darrell Revis. So those are all of the potential 84 overall options. Again, remember... These are BND. Now, before we even take a look at which one of these guys you want to go with, I also want to showcase for you guys something. Of course, these are not the up-to-date overalls here, but these are currently the players that we know that from playing the game in Madden 24, you guys will be able to get for free. If you pre-ordered the Deluxe Edition or any edition of Madden 24, you get an 86 overall Josh Allen, so you already know you have a QB set up there. In the field pass, you do get an 84 overall Bryce Young. There's also an upgrade token, so you're going to be able to get him up even higher. We don't know the overall that. There is an 83 overall BND DeAndre Swift very early on in the field pass. Now, a little bit later, you do also get an 86 overall BND DeAndre Hopkins. We now know that card is 84 speed, so you know you're going to have a wide receiver coming eventually. And then the competitive pass, we have 89 George Pickens, who has 87 speed. So we already know just from free cards you guys have been get if you grind enough in madden 24 this is what the free cards are going to be looking like here in terms of swift d hop uh george pickens as well bryce young and then josh allen you instantly get if you pre-order the game now defensively if you guys did every rookie premiere set in madden 23 you'll get aiden hutchinson 87 overall to start off the game uh jalen ramsey is in the field pass you can get him up to 89 overall and that card is extremely good reggie white also in the field pass and then aj terrell in the competitive pass as an 86 overall so keep in mind these positions that you're already going to have available to you pretty much as soon as you get the game you're going to have a Jalen Ramsey but then you can upgrade him using the tokens uh mid-level in the field pass you get Reggie White competitive pass AJ Terrell I'd imagine you would get that you know relatively soon it's still going to take a bit of grinding Josh Allen is instantly DeAndre Swift is like almost instantly it's like level three I believe and then you have D-Hop a little bit later on and George Pickens if you're grinding up you're going to get him. 
So make sure not to overstack these positions with your free players. So in terms of the Hall of Fame players, who should you go with? Well, now we actually know a little bit more about the stats. We've seen the core elites. We know the, you know, speed on them, everything. When it comes to Darrell Rivas, I do think there are a lot of good options at corner in this game. Also remember, if you personally have, you know, a certain amount of rookie premieres done, remember those cards you're going to get here. But I'm just based off of if you didn't have any rookie premieres, whatever. I still don't think I'd take Rivas. He only has 83 speed. Joe Thomas is a great option. Joe Thomas is a really, really good option, especially at the beginning of the year, guys. Offensive linemen are pretty big, right? Uh, getting an 84 overall left tackle, you are going to be very, very solid. Uh, you're really not going to have to switch off of him for quite a while. I mean, at the beginning of the year, I always recommend you guys go really cheap. Get like 82 overall, 81, 80 overall, o lineman, whatever, because you don't really need that top 85, 86s. So if you don't already have, you know, rookie premieres, whatever, and you open up packs and you don't get a left tackle, honestly, I think Joe Thomas might be the number one option however the number two option and this for those of you guys that maybe just want a really really good pass rusher uh or if you have the rookie premiere sets done this is who i'm personally going with i'm going with demarcus Ware. he has 83 speed which i believe is second for outside linebackers uh 82 excel 82 strength 84 block shade 82 power move 83 finesse move this is just overall a very very solid pass rusher with really really good speed compared to the core elites here as i said i believe he's tied for the second fastest i believe there is an 84 four speed outside linebacker there so i already have a left tackle a d is gonna be great d Ware is gonna be really good these other guys ronde barber we'll talk about him in a moment we'll swing back around but 80 speed yeah know about that uh zach thomas these middle linebackers it's just not gonna work out they don't animate they're kind of a useless position again this year joe klecko stats are kind of mid right he's just not really that impressive and he's a dt so it isn't even a depth position there but when it comes to my options i'd say joe thomas or demarcus Ware. i know that these guys also aren't depth but joe klecko stats are not really all that impressive next up though and the reason why we're coming back to ronde barber is we need to talk about team captains now i don't have a picture of team captains i can showcase for you guys but the team captain options in madden 24 if you don't know what team captains are you essentially get these players for free and then you upgrade them now the rumor is they start off at 80 overall and you can upgrade them to 85 very easily uh to start off the game which is big but there's also another rumor that you don't have to pick between them and you get all four in the field pass if that's the case that's dope but it's still not 100% confirmed, so I'm going to talk about the best option uh, in case you do have to pick. Those players are Rondé Barber. Yes, Rondé Barber is a team captain and also has a Hall of Fame card. I don't really understand that, but Rondé Barber is one option. Frank Gore, the running back, of course, is another option. Uh, we have Kevin Mawai, who is a center, and Eric Berry. Now, if you guys know Eric Berry, you're probably a really, really big fan, and you instantly probably want to go with Eric Berry, right? But I will say if you have to choose between any of them, again, offensive linemen, I think you just really don't need super high overalls at the start of the game. And on top of that, these players do upgrade progressively as the year goes on. Now, they do tend to fall behind, you know, the top overalls in the game as the year continues to go on here. So with that being said, any of these positions, like Eric Berry at safety, he's going to be really, really good. going to be a solid user card, whatever. But in terms of speed and coverage at certain points of the year, he will fall behind and you'll notice it pretty bad out there. You could go with Frank Gore and get a depth position player, have him at running back too. Not a bad option, but I think overall, I'm going to go with Kevin Mawai if you have to pick. I'm going to go with Kevin Mawai. You get 85 overall center to start off the year. And on top of that, he's going to be upgradable throughout the year. And you might swap him out once in a while. You know, if he falls like two overalls behind the top guy. But then once we catch back up again, you can kind of just put him in place. You don't always need to have the absolute top offensive lineman like you do with running backs and safeties uh, or even Rondé Barber here at corner. So if you got to pick, I'd say Kevin Mawai. If you don't have to pick, well, get all four. And the final three players we have to talk about, guys, are Justin Jefferson and Sauce Gardner. Now, for those of you guys that have the AKA players, which means you had to pre-order by mid-July. I don't remember the exact day. But if you got the Deluxe Edition pre-ordered by mid-July, you have your option of Justin Jefferson and Sauce Gardner. Now, when you look at their stats here, here's the thing. I just showcased two free wide receivers you get and two free corners. However, when it comes to just strictly longevity of those cards okay with wide receivers number one the two players are george pickens who is farther along in the competitive pass than the 
uh, AJ Terrell, and then also wide receiver, well, unfortunately so, it's going to take you quite a bit to get that DeAndre Hopkins, whereas Jalen Ramsey, you get instantly. Will he be good? Instantly? Probably not, but you'll be upgrade him throughout the field pass, getting your upgrade tokens, whatever. And I feel like if the guys did rookie premieres, then, you know, the pick is pretty obvious here. If you did rookie premieres, the pick is 100% Justin Jefferson. There are going to be some really, really good corners with rookie premieres. Uh, wide receiver-wise, I think Zay Flowers is going to be, like, the only really good one. But either which way, whether you did rookie premieres or not... I feel like Justin Jefferson is overall the better option simply because when it comes to cornerbacks with Sauce Gardner, as I mentioned, you do get AJ Terrell, you get Jalen Ramsey, but there also are some really, really good corners to start off Madden 24, like Tariq Woolen uh, and some other cards as well. You can kind of get that maybe would be more, you know, 84 overall, 83 overall budget beast that maybe will perform as well as Sauce Gardner. When it comes to Justin Jefferson and the core elites, He's the second best wide receiver in the game. Now, of course, George Pickens come in, and then you would say Jefferson is the third best receiver in the game. But with Jefferson, he has 85 speed, 83 catch traffic, and 85 spectacular catch. George Pickens has 87, but will take a while to get. Tyreek Hill has 86, but is going to be extremely expensive. And then Justin Jefferson's core elite has 85 speed and is the only core elite wide receiver with 85 speed. So if you want the second fastest receiver that you can buy anyways instantly in the game, then you go with the Justin Jefferson. I feel like it is uh, definitely the move in my opinion. If you're thinking long term, your wide receiver four most certainly gets into the game a lot more than your cornerback four. So you have to think about it like that as well. Depth wise, definitely Justin Jefferson is the move. So those are, in my opinion, the best free players to select in Madden 24. Again, the game drops today at 8 p.m. Eastern time for those guys with the Deluxe Edition. There's also a special stream at 6 p.m. where they're going to go over a lot of stuff in that. So uh, probably like the rookie premieres, everything. So I'll have a video out on that. And then when the game drops, we're going to be opening up some packs. Turn the notification bell on, hit that sub button down below, and drop a like on this video if it helped you out. I'm excited for Madden 24. And if you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.